Hi friends, today I am introducing an online remote control web service for your Raspberry Pis. Using this service, you can configure your online remote to control GPIO pins of your Raspberry Pi through your mobile device over internet. And if you have a Pi camera attached, you can also request a picture and view it on your device from anywhere in the world. If you have multiple boards at different locations, you can control them by configuring multiple remotes provided by the web service. You can get started in a matter of minutes. Just create an account here and get access to your online remote and authentication token. On your Raspberry Pi, download the project code from GitHub and paste your authentication token in it and create a cron task to run the code automatically. That's it. You have successfully integrated your Raspberry Pi with online remote. This is how your remote looks at the first glance. Start by assigning the GPIO pin number to each button and save. These numbers are reflected on top of the buttons and correspond to the GPIO pins on your Raspberry Pi. You can change these pin numbers anytime you wish. Now the button is ready to toggle the state of the respective pin. You can press these buttons to change the state, but notice the single tick and the light shade of button colors. It means that the commands are waiting at the server in cloud. Now the code running on your Raspberry Pi fetches these commands at a regular interval of time. When the commands are fetched, action is performed on GPIO pins and feedback is sent to your online remote. Now you can notice the darker shade and second tick on the respective button, confirming that the command has been executed on your device. Let's see a demo. Ensure that you are connected to internet and enable the camera interface. Using Chromium browser, go to the IoT home page and click this GitHub link. Download the code. The code should be in downloads folder and extract the file. Go to the remote folder. The other folder is not used in this project. Inside the remote folder, open the hello world python file. You need to paste your authentication token here. This token is sent to you via email when you created your account. Just copy it, paste it here and save the file. Now open the terminal and run this bash script to create a cron task. You can now see this task in the cron list by using this command. This task will run the python file every one minute to fetch remote data and perform action. 
you can control multiple boards using your online remote. The web interface allows you to configure multiple remotes to control respective boards. Download the same code on all the devices. Paste your authentication token and create the cron task as explained earlier. Just ensure that the board number in the code matches with the board number on your remote. So friends, go ahead and control your Raspberry Pis with this online remote. And do let me know in the comments below if you find it useful. Stay tuned for more content like this and thanks for watching.